Hi everybody, welcome back to Happy Bake Day, where every day is a happy bake day. I am joined again by Chef Dennis Chan. Thank Hello. you so much for joining me today. So glad to be here. And we are going to be making another fabulous episode of our cookie series. And we're going to be making... Chinese almond cookies. I am so excited about this. You said they're going to be delicious and flaky and almondy, of course. Yes, my grandfather used to make them in his restaurant for his customers and um, I, I never got his recipe but I had to test so many different recipes in order to come up with this one that was as close as I could ever get. Get the flavor just right. Yes. Well I'm super excited to dive into this today. Now for this recipe you're going to need the following ingredients. Two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a pound of shortening or lard. Today we're going to be using shortening. Three quarter cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of dark brown sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of almond extract, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, some blanched almonds, and one egg yolk for brushing. For our first step, you will need your stand mixer with a paddle attachment. Chef, what do we need to do first with our stand mixer? Oh, we're gonna take our sugar and our shortening and cream that. We're going to do just the granulated or with the brown sugar as well? Um, all, both the sugars. Perfect. Right where you are, you're sitting in an electrical matrix of energy beyond belief or most human conception. You'd be surprised to know how much knowledge and communication can be carried on its way. <laughs> so now we put our dry ingredients together. So there's baking soda, baking powder, and we're going to put that in. We'll give that a little stir so that it's, it mixes in nicely. And we'll go back to this. We'll put in our egg. Egg. Oh, yep. yeah. Egg is right here. see that when that bakes that's gonna um, open up like flowers. Staying nice and fluffy. I love that versus as we were just talking, butter, while the flavor is delicious, you it, you lose that bright fluffy consistency. Right. So we have our cookie dough chilling in the fridge and while it's chilling what we're going to do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So our dough has been chilling for about 15-ish, 20-ish minutes, and we are ready for scooping. We have two baking trays here lined with some parchment paper. We have a handy dandy cookie scoop, as well as a basting brush for our egg. So tell us, Chef, what are we going to do with them? We're going to uh, just scoop these. This is the easiest way to get the perfect round on the cookies. And what the good thing about the scoop is you're going to end up with this exact same size cookie. So everything is going to be equal and you won't have one that's too big or one that's too tiny. Right. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take one almond and you're going to place it on top of each cookie. Then you'll take a basting brush and baste the top of each cookie with a little bit of your egg yolk. Then this will be ready for baking. Now that these are set, we are going to bake them in our preheated oven for about 15 minutes or until the tops are nice and golden brown. So our almond cookies are out of the oven and oh my God, they look incredible. Yeah, you can see how nice and crumbly they're going to be when you take a bite into them. 
Yeah, and I really love how the egg wash has kind of melted into these little crunchy crackles on the top of the cookies. And it was cool to see how when we took them out of the oven, they were still poofy and fluffy. And then they've, as they've settled in, they've gotten nice and crumbly. Well, thank you so much, Chef, for joining me today. I cannot wait to break into these. I know, they look so good. I think so too. Thank you so much for joining us today while we made our amazing Chinese almond cookies. And thank you again to Chef Dennis for joining us today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you had fun baking with us today. I appreciate each and every single subscriber as you join me on my journey from banker to baker. Don't forget to visit my website or follow me on social media for this and all of my other great recipes. And don't forget to give Wu Wen Boo and Chef Dennis a follow as well. Until next time, we hope you have a very happy bake day.